Hi, everyone. Welcome to episode eight of the Lola's Life podcast. Thank you so much for joining me today. After a few short words from our sponsor, we'll get right into the episode. So today I wanted to try and do an episode weekly. Uh, This would be my first one where I kind of um, talk you guys through not not through cleaning, but just letting you know what I'm doing for my weekly chores this week. I'm not going to clean while I'm recording this episode because I just um, can't do that. I know it just won't sound good at all. So, But what I was hoping to do is for anyone that wanted to follow along with the Fly Lady weekly zone cleaning with me, I thought that what I would do is just like a quick episode to let you know what zone we're in this week and what some of those... Um, zone cleaning tasks are in case you wanted to use it to just follow along and rather than having to have the app or use make a list yourself if you don't want to do that you can just use this as an idea of some of those like bonus cleaning tasks that you don't do every week um what I'm doing this week or what's on the list I don't I usually don't wind up getting to all of them but ideally the idea is to get to all of them when you're in that zone so I thought I'm just going to say, let you know what zone we're in this week. I'm going to tell you what my regular cleaning tasks are going to be for my normal weekly cleaning, and then what zones we're in and what I'm going to try and work through. So like I always um, have this list of um, generally what I'm going to do first, which is my, I call it like the, um, my living things. (laughs) Uh, chores that I have to do. So before I do anything else, I make sure I take care of the living things, which are uh, our pets and the plants. So I'll get up first and I do my um, guinea pig cage. Then I take care of my fish and then I um, water our plants. So as long as those are done, if I don't get anything else done, I'm like, all right, well, at least I took care of the living things in the house. But anyway, so I do that first and then um, I have like one of those little um, robot vacuums. So I run that through the house. I actually won that at my company Christmas party this year. So I was super excited because it's not something I would really normally buy for myself, but I really, really love it. So I'll get that running while I'm doing um, the, uh, the other, uh, the guinea pig cage and all that stuff. And then I'll get the dishes uh, loaded in our sink, um, you know, into the dishwasher if there's any there. And then, which there usually always are, even if I do dishes the night before, somehow when I wake up in the morning, there's still a whole bunch of dishes in the sink. I have teenagers, like I said, and they're drinking and eating and whatever. I wind up sometimes with tons of dishes, more than I can even imagine in the sink when I wake up on Saturday morning. So I'll get those loaded and I'll put in a load of laundry and um, just make sure when you put your load of laundry in to set um, a timer so that you can make sure you go get it in the dryer once it's done because the wor- it's the worst if you have it sitting by accident and forget to stick it in the dryer and then it gets like that weird laundry sitting in the washing machine too long smell. <laughs> um, so yeah, so make sure you set your timer. Also, when you're doing your um, housework, you try and think of any downtime that there might be like during a task where you can kind of get something else done. Um, for example, like when I'm doing the guinea pig cage, there's a part where I kind of spray the cage and let it soak. And um, so I also need to clip my guinea pig's nails once a week. I don't clip all their nails once a week, but they get kind of fidgety. So I'll like check their nails every single week and then I'll clip like one or two if those ones look like they're like longer than the other ones. Um, so I know I have a few minutes while the, um, you know, the, the spray cleaner is soaking in the guinea pig cage. So then I just grab the guinea pigs and clip their nails while I'm waiting. So just try and kind of think as you're going along if there's any downtime like that where you're waiting for something where you could kind of get something else small done during that time. Um, so anyway, I do those things. I check all the garbage, um, like the random ones. Obviously, the kitchen garbage, when it fills out, we just take it out. But we have like a uh, garbage basket like in the laundry room. We have one in our basement. And then there's like the two bathroom baskets. So just kind of check those and see if anything needs to be done. And then I do a weekly, I do like a rotation on mopping and on bed sheets. So um, this week I will be doing um, the sheets for my daughters. I do the girls on the second and fourth Saturday. And then on the first and third Saturday, I do um, mine and my husband's sheets and my son's bed sheets. So every two weeks, Everyone gets new sheets, but I do it on the off week. That way I only have to wash 
two sets of sheets um, each week because I don't know, it's a pain in the neck. I don't like washing sheets. I always have trouble in the dryer with the fitted sheet and maybe someone has a good tip on that, but I just, it's so annoying to wash sheets because I don't know. I just hate drying them. They just are kind of weird and they don't dry right sometimes for me. So anyway, this week is going to be the girl sheets. And then um, I will be, I do, I also do mopping on a rotation. I have like the first and the third Saturday. I do the first Saturday I mop my family room and the third Saturday I mop the living room and every other um, week I mop the kitchen. I know that probably sounds crazy. I'm sure most of you mop at least your kitchen weekly, if not more. I just have a really busy schedule right now and I don't know, it seems to work fine for me. So if something spills, obviously I'll just wipe it up and if the floor doesn't look gross or anything, but I do like a full steam mop um, on that every other week schedule. So those are kind of like what I look at every week. But then for the zone, this week we're in zone four. So I'm following the Fly Lady app and that tells you what zone you're in. But like I said, hopefully maybe you could just use this episode and it'll give you ideas on what bonus chores you want to work on. Now my zones might not be exactly the same as what the original Fly Lady app comes with or what you might be using for your zones because in the app you can customize it. So like for example, if they have like a second bathroom or a master bathroom or things like that, and you don't have that, or if they have a family room or front porch or whatever, an area you don't have, you can change it in the app to customize it to what you do have. So what I have in my zone four this week is the master bedroom, the basement bathroom, and the master closet. So in the master bedroom, the tasks on the list are cleaning for cobwebs, just kind of looking around the corner, seeing if there's anything that needs dusting that you might not have noticed, um, you know, like in the, like up in the high corners of the room. And then like in, maybe if you have like a closet, they're, you know, just kind of check for cobwebs. Um, if you have a bed skirt, um, wash that, um, flip the mattress, uh, wash the windows, just like clean the windows, um, wash any throw pillows, straighten the drawers, um, mop the floor. And I also have on here, wash the comforter. Cause I don't do that, like obviously very regularly. And I, I don't always necessarily do it every time I'm in that zone, but it's just like on the list so that if it needs to be done, I'll do it. Um, polish the furniture, clean under the bed. You know, if sometimes like a shoe winds up going under there or whatever, just kind of check under the bed, clean under there. And then, um, just like sweep and mop. I forget if I said, I think I already did say, uh, mop. Yeah. So sweep and mop. So those are the things in the master bedroom zone and the zones rotate. You're in a different zone each week. So I guess there's five, I think there's five zones. So each weekend you're in a different, um, zones. I think zone five is usually shorter than the others just because of how the months fall. So this week we're in zone four and those are the master bedroom tasks. So if any of those sound like something you need to do, hopefully that'll be helpful. Um, then we have the basement bathroom. So we have a, our second bathroom is in our basement. And um, I actually only have three things that I have in there for my zone cleaning, uh, which is wash the area rug, straighten the drawers and cabinets and clean the fan. We have one of those like little bathroom fans that has like the little vents in it and they get dusty. So I take like either like a pipe cleaner or like a toothpick and I just kind of stand up there and run it through and kind of dust that out. There's really nothing else that needs to be done in the basement because everything else I get when I do my regular weekly cleaning in there. And then the last um, area that I have in my zone cleaning for this week is the master closet. So all I really have in there is um, to straighten the top shelves. We have kind of like a shelf above where the clothes hang. And I just kind of check and see if anything got stuck up there um, or maybe dusted or whatever. Um, Arrange the shoes. We have like a couple of spots where shoes go. So just kind of rearrange them, see if anything fell, maybe dust. And then, um, yeah, just kind of like, I guess, check around um, the bottom of the closet, things like that. Just kind of. That's like my master closet uh, zone. 
Um, I guess a lot of people probably have like a walk-in closet, so it's probably more of a task. We just have like a regular closet, but I still kept it. I think the Fly Lady app originally came with that as a zone, and I just left it. So that's the zone that we're in this week. Hopefully, maybe that'll help you with some bonus tour ideas that you can use. And I'm going to do this every week so that maybe you could just listen and get some ideas of things you might not have done in a while. So hope this is helpful to you. And uh, remember, progress over perfection. So if you don't get to every single thing on the list, you can get to it next time that zone comes around. So thanks so much for listening, and I hope you have an awesome day.